Welcome to this tutorial where we are going to look deeper into how to create a more funny and custom GUI or design. So we can use Photoshop, just create a new, I using well, a thousand and thousand just to be 100% sure I'm creating. Creating a new layer down here and deleting the background. Uh, I'm using the pencil tool and painting up series up here so it's easier for me to select brush tools. Uh, well, let's try and use something huge. And uh, let's just maximize it. You can also press the scope here and fit the screen at the right of it to your screen. It's nice to do. Okay, so now right click and size it or you just go up here and size it try and draw something yeah it's working a bit slow but okay select the color you want okay we say I'm happy we just creating something with some fresh colors maybe not that but Terrible, terrible. What color to shoes? Well, basic terrible design. Just some fast. Okay, then you just save it. And be sure, since I removed the background, I'm supposed to save it in PNG. That will allow us to create a transparent image. So just image or something and then use the knob I suppose okay now you can go into your program let's say we want to use it as a background just background image select import find your background image okay the transparent color will be default to white unless you have another as you see when I change the background, also the transparent area we didn't change will stay as this. So this should stretch, and you can change the color of it. Whatever we feel like, I don't feel like anything. Whoa. Yeah, whatever you choose. And there now you have set your own background. And why I told you to use the transparent one is so you can change the color just like I did now. It's very useful when you're creating buttons and so. And then to use it for a image for a button, you're just going to, well, we don't need to create a button. Yeah, well, never mind it. We'll do it anyway. I just delete the old one for now. You have a nice tool here called something I don't know. It's not called that, but just choose an any side and Press it, take the scope, hit the screen, and like use this tool. It's nice, one of these I usually use it. Change the color if you want to, to something. Just dry it. Say we're happy. You can zoom out a little. Okay, now just right click here, or double click here on the side, or right click in Blender options. You just select some options here. That will make you happy. Something just at all. So there. I would say I'm perfectly happy about it. This is the same save as transparent image for me for same png it won't be possible so image to go back to your visual basic go to the background image import select the button you created okay now stretch it and since this already is a default ugly button you have to change the standard to a pop-up or a flat one and select transparent as background 
So see now it's suited. It will be suited for our background. Terrible blue, but whatsoever. So see it's changing. As you see. So let's try and change the text and so. Let's change it to 15. Change the color of it. Just use something simple, easy to see, like white is simple. And down here on text, you enter the text of it, like press me. Yeah, now. Okay, oh, well, it lo doesn't look so nice, but then we can just do like button one text equals you press it me. They are now done. So now, well, as you see, it's ugly like this, so we'll fix that. And you press it me. Okay, so to fix this ugliness, you have to go to fix or flat appearance and change this to zero. And just go here and change that to transparent. Okay, now done. Okay, as you see, nothing appears. I can click it, nothing. But if you would like doing like this, you see it up in the white square around it is coming up. But when you enter the app again, it's gone. So that's only the one bug I am aware of. But not many people notice it. So we created our fast home button and set the text of it. We created our own background. And that's simply what you can do to create your button looking more nice you can go into events and mix around with the mouse o enter and mouse leave and choose two different images when the mouse is entering it will change to an image when it's leaving it will change back to the image is showing or something that's all for now